Hold on, I'm gonna shut my door real quick so we can get this new review started. I'll get it started in a couple seconds, so yeah, be right back. My bad. All right, we are back. So, I'm gonna make a video on uh, my ends mask, but that will be sometime. But yeah, let's get straight into Psycho Two. All right, I guess. So, it's uh, twenty something years later, and Norman Bates gets out of jail or the institution, and he is not found guilty. And that one woman, Milo Loomis, wants him to go to jail for what he done. And he's a free man now. And he um, doesn't kill nobody. And then, I me mean, it's this woman, I guess it's uh, Milo Loomis' daughter. And apparently, in reality, they're, they're trying to make Norman, cr Norman go crazy. So he can end up going crazy, so he can start killing people, I guess, and dressing up in his mother's clothes and shit. And, uh, he gets to get killed in, in his basement. And somehow he's to blame for it, because you know what he's done in the past. But he wouldn't do it again, I. You say he won't do it again. And, uh, at the very end. Um, Lyle and Mrs. Goddard dressed up, as, dressed up in his mother's clothes and then starts stabbing him. And, and, uh, finds her body behind Cole, I guess. And then the cop shooter, then that's the end of her. Then at the very end, his real mother comes in. Well, I don't know if it's his, his real mother, but it could be. But and then she tells him how he's, how he, how yeah, how she was his real mother, and he was getting given up. So that's why his mother. I so guess that wasn't his real mother. They poisoned, but I don't think so. But and then ends on him carrying her upstairs and her talking, which is probably really him, but. Then you get the ending scene where he turns on the base motel sign and he goes out to do more work. Then the um, thing continues in the third film, which is actually directed by Anthony Perkins, which Anthony Perkins is an awesome actor. He probably he did an awesome job directing the fucking third movie, in my opinion. But yeah, so Psycho Two, a good fucking sequel. You know, I'm going to rate this one. I'm going to rate this one. I know y'all don't care, but... For a good sequel to a 60s classic that actually turned into a series, I'm probably going to give it... I'm probably going to have to give it, like, a... Probably an 8. Or, no, 9. No, an 8. It has to be an 8. Because how good it is in the atmosphere and shit. Like... Who would have thought... Psycho 2, but, yeah, Psycho 2, very good fucking sequel, if you have never watched any of the Psycho movies, I recommend watching them, they're on Peacock, I believe, no, I, I can just check that real quick, Peacock, 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 sorry, I'm not gonna play a movie, <laughs> I'm joking, it shows playback, but I'm not gonna watch I don't want to get copyright strict. But I'm going to search it up. Psycho. Well, not all of them. All. This is the shittier one. I'll do a movie review on this sometime. But right here is the second one, the original, and the third one. 
This is when he was more younger. This is when he was more old. But yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. And um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing these review reviews all over again because all I did was make them two minutes and shit. So I want to do these ones again so it doesn't be two minutes and I get my full opinion on the fucking movie. I recommend watching it. And um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Now I'll see y'all for Psycho 3. Or whatever movie reviews come out on the day or videos. But um, yeah, I'll see y'all.